Not sure if Sienna is top-selling mini camper in North America, but I believe Sienna is definitely the first choice for a stealth camper. The reason is that the interior space of the car is very large. The interior is cozy and the exterior is not obtrusive. Easy to maintain, sturdy and durable. Taking my 2006 Sienna that I purchased in 2016 as an example. The car already has 130,000 miles on it. It cost about $7,000. Previous owner or dealer. Replaced with new battery and tires. The annual registration fee is about $130. So it's not hard to imagine that many people use it to convert into a mobile home. Some people have converted it into a kitchen with a sliding mechanism, while others have installed cabinets. Some have even converted their Sienna into a vehicle with a toilet and shower. All are very exciting and creative. My plan is to continue with my usual philosophy of no build build. To experiment and see what level of modification can be achieved, without damaging any original structure or interior. The interior space of the car is very spacious and the seats are comfortable. It can accommodate seven passengers. The seats in the second row can slide and adjust the angle, while the seats in the third row can be folded to create a larger cargo space. It also has many excellent interior features, such as a multifunctional control panel, independent rear air conditioning, and many storage cabinets. It is also equipped with multiple safety features such as front and rear airbags, side airbags, anti-lock brakes, ABS, system, vehicle stability control, and more. With outstanding crash test ratings, high quality overall reliability, and great durability. Overall, the 2006 Toyota Sienna is an excellent minivan. The concept of Sienna leveling. The basic idea is to use these wooden strips to make a roll-up mechanism. With a width of 1.2 meters on both sides, we can lay out a rectangular area. When the seats are folded flat, when flattening is needed, we can pull the wooden floor back to achieve a flat surface. When the third row seats are needed, roll the wooden floor forward from the tailgate to the area where the seats come out. And the third row seats can be put up for passengers to sit on. This completes the flattening process. When the seats need to be stowed away, it is also easy to do so. Simply fold the seats flat, and roll the wooden floor backward to make it flat. The plan cannot keep up with the changes. Originally, I wanted to use a roll-up style wooden floor. So I went to Home Depot to order wooden boards, that were 4 feet long, and didn't need to be cut. Together with the gaps for the roller, 50 boards could be pieced together to form a 2 meter long floor. It only cost $34. However, when the wood arrived, it was different from what I had imagined. The wood was damp and not solid enough, so it was basically unusable. Making changes to the plan to adapt to the situation is the most interesting challenge. Because it may have surprisingly good results, or it may fail completely. So I applied the concept mentioned earlier to the making of the Sienna's wood floor. There were many uncertain factors especially with regards to the dimensions. My favorite part was rethinking all of this data. I calculated the distance between point A and the back of the driver's seat to be 117 centimeters. Subtracting the width of the three boxes, 90 centimeters, leaves 27 centimeters. Distance from point A to the rear of the car is around 109 centimeters approximately four times the width of 27 centimeters. Therefore, the design concept of a fourfold Z-shape was completed. All the materials needed were just a 40 by 80 centimeters wooden board, and four or five cuts were enough to complete it. Then, I went to Home Depot to select the wood board. Originally, I didn't want it to be too heavy and easy to fold. I chose a quarter inch thick wood board and hesitated between weight and flatness. However, I changed my mind the moment the cutting machine started and decided to switch to a half an inch thick plywood. Four hours later, I realized that this decision saved me time and money from having to make it again. Home Depot staff helped me make four cuts because of the minimum size limit. So I had to make one more cut myself to complete the cutting. After sanding, and painting both sides. Sanding again, proceeded to the last step, attaching the elastic fabric, 
I laid the wood board flat on the opposite position. And securely attached the elastic fabric and rope with a staple gun. Finally, flipping the board over required some effort. But the result was satisfying. Equipment and a reliable vehicle are essential for a successful trip. I use 12 storage boxes to properly organize and categorize my luggage and equipment, which are placed on the floor of the rear compartment. Through the benefits of centralization, all items can be easily accessible and greatly increase efficiency. Fixing areas and positions can make searching and placing items faster. I can easily find what I need without wasting time. In the past, I used storage boxes to store necessary items for travel. However, the size of the boxes did not effectively utilize the narrow space in the car. And due to the limited number of boxes, different things were mixed in different boxes, making it inconvenient to find things. This was the original pattern of my storage boxes. Later, when I switched to smaller storage boxes, I had to carefully categorize all my things. First, I put my necessary things into categorized boxes, trying to minimize items that exceeded the size of the box. If there were items that exceeded the size, I would find a place to hang them, and then use the magnetic combination of the storage boxes to form different patterns. First, let's talk about the driving mode. I lay all the boxes flat, and put non-slip mats underneath. If necessary, I can also tie them up to prevent items from fall or the car becoming messy during driving, ensuring the safety of the driver and passengers. By easily lifting up four boxes, a convenient table appears. It's pretty easy to place the four boxes on top of each other. We can then eat on top of them, or use a computer, and so on. For some oversized items, like a cooler or other necessary things, I can put them on the upper level to save space. This is the table mode. When in work or leisure mode, the mattress can be folded into a single-person sofa to create the desired space. For example, the sofa can be folded into a comfortable reclining area at both ends, or the boxes can be moved to the front, dot for sitting or even as a footrest. Additionally, two boxes can be folded to create a desk. To maximize the sleeping space, we can move the four boxes in the second row to the top, making the first row three layers high. This way, the interior space of the car can be maximized. The advantage is that the glass of the driver's seat is directly blocked by these 12 boxes in front. The space in the back can be covered with a mattress and a sleeping bag, creating a very comfortable sleeping space. The biggest advantage is that the space in the back is maximized, and there is no height limitation, making sleep more comfortable, without feeling cramped. When you are in a campground, national forest, or other camping area, Using a tailgate tent can expand the space inside the car, which is a relatively efficient and healthy way. Because even though the car is convenient, it is not possible to stand inside for a long time. Being compressed by the interior space is not good for the human body. Therefore, having a space that can stand is indeed a good adjustment for car camping life. However, a tailgate tent provides a minivan with a standing space that it cannot have. Although the minivan has a large space, it is difficult to stand inside. Therefore, we use the tailgate tent to move the tools inside the car with a short distance, and some items can even be placed in the car. The entire environment is like being inside the car with a considerable degree of privacy, and a reduction in pollution and interference from the outside world. It is a very ideal RV-like leisure mode, but it is not as bulky as an RV and not welcome in many places. Choose a flat-shaped tent that can be attached to the rear of the car. It not only looks beautiful but also has good integration. The sturdy frame and structure are directly fixed to the tailgate, making it easy to set up. Once you're familiar with it, one person can set it up in just 3 to 5 minutes. And in most cases, you don't even need to tie the tent ropes. When the wind is strong, tie the ropes. And if it's going to rain, cover the tent with a rain cloth. The use of space in a daily minivan is no less than that of some camping vehicles. And with this rear tent, it is even better. Even compared to some medium or small vans like Volkswagen, for example. 
The entire space even has greater comfort. Combine the 12 storage boxes according to your own needs. It can be stacked and placed inside the tent. This can form a table and a single person sofa. Both are very good ways. I have also prepared some practical and compact tools in the car. Let me introduce them to you one by one. Using a foldable mattress. If one layer is not enough, then two layers can be folded into a mattress. It does not take up too much space and can also be used as a sofa. You can sit comfortably and enjoy the scenery during the journey. When necessary, you can release the air from the foldable mattress. Roll it up and store it, making it as small as a sleeping bag. This adjustable and extendable pole can be easily hung on the passenger grab handle of the Sienna with one hand. It can be used to hang a light or clothes. And when the weather changes, there's no need to rummage through boxes to find clothes. Simply hang the commonly used clothes on the pole for easy access. Additionally, if there's no time to dry clothes after washing them, they can be hung in the car with the ventilation window open at the back. And while driving, they can quickly dry. It is a very practical tool. I bought a small DC direct current desk lamp on Taba at a very cheap price. Its brightness can be adjusted, and it has a delicate and exquisite texture. When placed in the car, a feeling of home will naturally emerge, though I really like this small desk lamp. Currently, I only have a 1 kilowatt hour lithium battery, and an inverter that is less than 1 kilowatt in the United States. Before upgrading to a new system, I will test the limits and conditions of this old system again. I will update everyone later. Currently, I am using a 120 volt AC electric pot here. In the end, it proved that this electric pot has low power. But at least I can still cook noodles, rice, and even boil water. So I stopped using the electric kettle. Because its wattage was higher, and often caused the inverter to not work properly. Therefore, I ended up using this electric pot. I'm using a thermal insulation bag as a refrigerator this time. Because the weather is relatively cool this season. So I'm using this thermal insulation bag as my refrigerator. For this trip, I decided to try not to have a fixed itinerary. Basically, the idea is to use national parks as a starting point. Because I already bought an annual pass for them. I just need to set a few national parks as initial destinations and then decide on the next one. While on the way to the next national park, I'm using free campsite to decide where to stay. It's a website that allows people who enjoy camping in the wilderness to easily find and share the location of free camping areas. Just enter the area and city you need to go on the website, and it will help you find free or paid campsites along the way. If you come across a place you like, Stay there for an extra two days. If your supplies run out, just keep moving. Basically, Walmart is also a good place to stay. Although many Walmart stores no longer welcome overnight parking. When I need electricity, laundry, or accommodation, I use Booking.com to book a room. Booking.com is a globally renowned booking website that offers many accommodation options. You can choose different prices according to your budget and preferences. If you want to take a short break along the way, rest area parking lots are also a good choice. However, the regulations vary by state, and in most states, the minimum rest time is 8 hours. I remember there are a few places where the rest time is only 4 hours. Many scenic areas or roadside parking lots also have beautiful scenery. With this wooden platform, when you come across a beautiful view while driving, you can open the back door of the car, flatten the seats, and enjoy the scenery from inside the car. If you encounter a situation where the car can only face forward, 
lower the driver and passenger seats, arrange the boxes, and enjoy a cup of coffee or some food in the car while admiring the beautiful view. It's a very pleasant experience. In addition to rest areas and parking lots, there are also many other places to rest, such as the parking lots of some casinos, or free campsites in abandoned campsites. Many of these places are displayed on free campsite, and there are unexpected special scenery waiting for you. These are the concepts for the no-build build of the Toyota Sienna. You can use your own needs and creativity to make your mobile furniture more attractive. Through this modification, we can easily turn a standard car into a comfortable camping car. In the next video, we will continue to modify a small SUV with the same concept to become a camping car. Stay tuned. And thank you all.